Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. So the Bible said our sons and daughters shall be given unto another people. When, even think about today, our sons and daughters are being given unto another people today, right? How? Sex trafficking, where else? Foster home. Foster home, where else? You're you on point. These don't sound like good things, though. you on point. Jail, uh, where else? Uh, ICE? Churches, all that. We, but, so, you're, so you're digging a little bit deeper, but yeah, you're right. You're absolutely right. But like you said, sex trafficking, um, DCFS, ICE, whole nine. Read it again. It, you ain't real. Hey, all praise to the most high. Hey, it ain't it ain't real, but our kids being given away, right? We like to say we like to say the curses ain't real, but we getting shot down in the streets, right? It ain't real, but he gotta drive down the street looking over his shoulders, right? So it is real. Read. And thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long. And there, there shall be no might in thy hand. Hey, Junebug, 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 let me ask you a question. What's up, man? So your children, if DCFS took them, explain to me how hard, would you, no, messing around today, you probably wouldn't even get them back if they get in the system, oh, yeah. right? Up, yeah. Even if you tried, even if you, let's say if you did something wrong and you changed your life around, right. you can go, you can hire the best lawyer, had the greatest job. When it come to us, they ain't giving us our kids back. They just gone in the system. Think about in slavery too, that photo that the officer held up. Those was auction blocks, our kids being auctioned off. Who seen, yeah, who seen 12 Years a Slave? Who seen that movie? You seen 12 Years a Slave? Many, you seen 12 Years a Slave? Y'all ever seen the movie uh, Mandingo? All right, y'all come, come, come closer. I need y'all to see this. Take a picture if you have to. These these are real things, and we read it from the Bible. Right. Bring the Bible is our history. That's right. The Bible is Black, Hispanic, and Native American history. Yeah. And it, yeah, yeah, and he talking about it ain't real. Yeah. Our history ain't real. Yeah. Like that's supposed like. That's condemned. That's damnation right there. Yeah. Right. Like no, nah, he 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 don't know what he's saying. He yeah. ignorant. He got a chance to repent like everybody else. But, but these photos, right? But he ain't right now. These photos is our children given to other people. And we didn't have the mic in our hand. Hey, tell them sisters to get out too and listen. These are real things. I'm done with the sign, I'm done with the sign. So yeah, Matt Dingo, uh, 12 Years a Slave, you need to watch that movie, because on that movie, it was a son and a daughter being split up from her parents. One was sent into slavery like in Texas, the other one was sent in like Carolina somewhere. That's a real thing. It depicts that in the Bible. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given into another people, and thy eyes shall look and fail with longing for them all the day long, and there shall be no might in thy hand. All right, so yeah, it shouldn't be no might in our hand, meaning that we ain't going to have the ability to get our kids back on our own will. And I'm going to explain again the reason why we read this June bug, many and Tamika is to show who we are according to the Bible. Did everybody, did y'all look at this sign yet? Where y'all see yourselves on this sign? Bring it out. Where do y'all see yourselves on this sign? American, Black, Judah, what about you? What, matter of fact, uh, let's get that in numbers because you find out who you truly are by your father. Everybody wonder why it's a tradition that you had your father last name. It's because, number one in 19, uh, because 
Your father determines who you are. Brother, brother, brother. Stop, stop right here. What, uh, you Mexicano, Puerto Rican? Mexicano. Come, come over here, learn your history. We family. Come learn your history. The young man has to know. Read that for me in numbers to show who we are. Read. This is the book of Numbers, chapter 1, verse 18. Y'all sisters in the car listening? All right, read. And they assembled all the congregation together on the first day of the second month. And they, and they declared their pedigrees after their families by the house of their father. They declared their what? Declared their pedigrees. So they declared their pedigrees, meaning their bloodline. Uh, today's term would be nationality. They determine their nationality or race by what? After their families, by the house of their fathers. By the house of their fathers. So that's why uh, you got, in, in regular families, the child has the father last name. Right. Because that's what your nationality is. It ain't no, oh, uh, I'm like what Tiger Woods say, I'm Calip I'm Calipacasian, I'm mixed because my mother's Asian and my daddy black. No, you're a Negro. You're a you're a so-called black man. Whatever. If your father's Native American, you are Native American. That's just like yeah, my mom is Haitian, but my dad is a so-called African American. Right. So that will make me from the tribe of Judah. That's right. So whatever your father is. That's what tribe you from. So you say you from the tribe of Judah, right? You from the tribe of Judah? You from the tribe of Judah. I mean, I don't know, because I think my daddy is mixed with some, but I mean, yeah. But remember, according to the Bible, you can't be mixed to me. Right. Uh. So so you get you eat apples, right? Yeah. I love apples. Apples is fire. Apples got seeds, right? Let's say me and you split an apple. And I take the seeds from them apples, and I plant one right here on the corner of Chicago and Hamlin, and from that same apple, I take some seeds with me all the way to Canada, and I plant them seeds. When that plant grows, what's going to grow? An apple tree. So the seed determines what you are. The woman don't determine what you are. The seed does. Y'all just carry the child, but the father determines what the child is. Y'all understand? So y'all from the tribe of Judah, right? Let's get that in. I want to show y'all something. Y'all believe in Jesus Christ? Did y'all know Jesus Christ is on the same sign as y'all? Jesus Christ is from the tribe of Judah. That's right. Jesus Christ is a so-called black man. That's we're right. going to read that in the Bible, Hebrews 7 and 14. First, we're going to show what tribe he's from. We're going to show what what tribe Christ is from because a lot of people like to say uh, what Christ got the blood of everybody in him that don't make sense that don't make sense at all read listen real quick real quick we're showing that Christ from the same tribe as you read this is the book of Hebrews chapter 7 verse 14 for it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah read that again for it is evident. For it is what? For it is evident. For it is factual. These are facts. This ain't nothing we made up. We not blowing smoke when we say this. It is evident that what? That our Lord sprang out of Judah. That our Lord sprang out of Judah. We got to, we have the same blood as Christ. We must conduct ourselves that way. And that's what we out here trying to teach. Right. All right. That we the Israelites. Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation is